morning. I'm currently uh, on a train heading towards Dorchester. Um, I wasn't actually planning on filming a video today. I thought that Storm Aisha would still be in full force and the weather would be awful, but it's actually really quite sunny today and actually quite mild and nice. So I was like, okay, sure. I'd had a line and everything. I was like, okay, sure, missed opportunity to film a video. But then I thought, you know, okay, what can I do today anyway? My doubt, I visit the three request stops between Yeovil and Maiden Newton on the Heart of Wessex line. And then I was like, wait, that could totally be a cool video. So I immediately packed my bags, headed to Bournemouth Station, and here we are. We're heading towards Dorchester South to hopefully tick off the three request stops, Thornford, Yetminster, and Chetnoll, on the Heart of Wessex line. Let's do it. Right then, let's uh, make our way to Dorchester West. Weather is definitely still a bit windy, but it's nowhere near as bad as I was expecting it to be, to be honest. Dorchester West. Perfect. Now this day out has actually been such a spur of the moment plan. While I was filming the intro to this video, I still didn't actually have a plan yet. Um, but I've now got one, thankfully. And first of all, we're going to go and tick off Thornford. It's slightly strange as well. The uh, northbound trains today are going to Bristol Temple Meads instead of Gloucester. It's probably some engineering works going on. I don't know. Still west. Oh, another uh, first group inside train. <laughs> Brilliant. Thornford has been locked in with the conductor, so uh, yeah, our fate is sealed. Let's uh, let's go. I'm honestly quite excited to do this. It's been a while since I've done any. Uh, request stops. So yeah, it's going to be a nice fun little outing. I do usually like to plan my videos and everything, but sometimes, you know, a spur of the moment video kind is, you know, so sometimes it's, it's sometimes it's quite cool. It's quite exciting to do. Just past uh, Chetnall, now we yeah. God, the stations are so Tiny. I love stations like this. Should mean though we're about five minutes away from Thornford now. Cheers, thank you. Thank you, you too. Okay, Thornford, I am in the middle of nowhere. This is great. Oh my god. They've got a uh, onward travel information here. There's like absolutely nothing in the immediate vicinity. There's no regular bus service. They say call taxis and there seems to be the Thornford village over here which is about a mile away by the looks of things but yeah this is this is a great place. The timetable here as well it seems to be you know general like two hourly Saturdays and uh, weekdays but then like Sundays oh my god it's as frequent as like every four hours sometimes. God, that is, that's, that's great. And last but not least, the, uh, the, this wonderful, just little hut for a waiting room that also has got a nice little history poster with some things about, you know, the surrounding area and everything. That is, yeah. I don't know, these are, it's like, they're so, empty these stations but they also have just like a lot of nice character about them which is why I like them so much. I've just clocked on to the um, signs here as well um, do not release doors local guard only so it's so I'm guessing the trains that come down here the 165s they actually 166s too they don't have selective door operation so you literally have to get out the same door with the guard with the tiki and everything Oh, that makes sense now, yeah. <laughs> Certainly a bit uh, unseasonably warm today as well. It's like 13 degrees and it's quite sunny. It feels sort of like March, April kind of time. It's January when I'm filming this, so yeah. Nice little bit of unseasonably warm weather. So we are going to walk to Yetminster Station now. Um, it's got a train in something like 
um, an hour and a bit from now. So we're just gonna walk. It's about a half an hour walk to Yetminster, so we've got plenty of time. Um, but yeah, we'll go and head to Yetminster for the second station. So yeah, according to these signs here, the nearest sort of town village to here is Beer Hackett, which is said on these station signs as well, three quarters of a mile away. But uh, yeah, we'll follow this sign here to Yetminster. It's where we'll need to be. I really am in the middle of absolutely nowhere. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, walking with no pavement definitely feels a little bit sketchy, but there aren't many cars that come down here, so I'm mostly safe. Yetminster, here we are. Okay, well, we're within, we're within the sort of boundary now, so that, that, that's good. Aha, civilization. There we are. Well, hey, I mean, first impressions wise, this place is quite nice. Aha! A pavement, at long last. I'm finally safe. The heck is going on with this bus stop? There's like a broken sign and then the timetable's all the way down here on the ground. Is this bus stop even used anymore or what? I have no idea. Yeah, according to Google, it doesn't actually show up and the timetable on here is from like 2012. Jesus. It's just started spitting a bit as well. Hope it doesn't last too long. I've been liking the lack of rain. So I believe the station should be directly down this road, just turned off from the other street I was on. The weather right now really cannot decide if it wants to be rainy or not. It keeps raining and not raining and it's being very indecisive. Oh, I can hear the bells. Listen. Oh, they sound great. <laughs> sounded like it was coming from over there somewhere. I want to find out now. <laughs> hmm, yes. I think uh, Church Street would explain the bells. Yeah, not bad at all. Wow. Very impressive. Lovely, tranquil village. Could never get enough of these. So um, back to the uh, topic of trains. The station should just be down this road a little bit further, I think. Oh, there we are, I see it. A double arrow. We've got the uh, main stairs down to the platform there, and we've got what looks like here stairs that used to go to a platform that no longer exists. So of the three request stop stations along here, you know, Thornford, Yetminster, Chetnall, I think Yetminster's probably the most somethingy station by a long shot. There's actually like, you know, a village outside and the platform's got some more actual stuff on it. So we have about um, 25 minutes left to kill until the train that way um, arrives still. Um, but yeah, we've, we've gone at a very leisurely pace. But it's been nice to sort of just take in the surroundings and, you know, enjoy the place. It's definitely uh, beginning to get a bit dark. I'm, uh, you know, I, I left it quite late in the day to begin filming this video. I didn't get to Dorchester, Dorchester West until like, well, I didn't leave until quarter to two. So yeah, in January as well, where sunsets are like half four, <laughs> but it will still be light when we're in Chetnall, so we'll be fine. Train's due in something like three minutes now. We'll get ready to uh, signal to the driver. I'm hearing very distant train horns. I'm getting ready. We got it. All right, so it won't be long, but we'll soon be in Chetnall. It's uh, not actually that far, to be honest. 
in my sort of uh, excitement to get on the train, I just sort of got on and forgot to even tell the conductor I need to get off channel. <laughs> Could have been bad. All right, I can already uh, feel a slowing down. We should be there pretty soon. Brilliant. Thanks, you have a good one. Thank you very much. Brilliant. And finally, the third of the three request stops, Chet Knoll. Once again, much like Thornford, it is in the middle of nowhere and very much a nothingy station. My lord, the uh, rain really has picked up. I'm glad that I've got this shelter here. Oh my god. The, uh, the, the sheep out here aren't so fortunate. Oh dear. Right, I can't really get more shots from outside because my camera's going to get really wet and I don't know how waterproof it is. Probably not very. Sort of personal fun fact though, um, my great great auntie used to live in Chetnol. She lived, uh, the village is around sort of that direction, but yeah, so I have a little bit of family history here. I'm probably not gonna leave the station though because I've gone about 10 minutes here before another train going that way comes and also the weather's just shocking. You know what? I've never actually ever used one of these information points before and I'm not gonna look at my phone to see when the next northbound train is. I'm gonna actually just push the uh, information button here. I'm going to use it for the first time. Please wait. Please wait. Yes. Uh-huh. Please wait. Please wait. Oh, hello. We're getting something. We're getting a call. Please wait. It's ringing. Please wait. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Please press the button again or call National Rail Inquiry. Call was unsuccessful. Great. That's um that's that's handy. <laughs> Guess I'll have to look at my phone anyway then. All right. Okay, apparently due in 3 minutes. All right. Okay, sure. Well, just before my train arrives, we can look at this here. We've got um welcome to Chetnol Halt. Pretty nice. So I think, I think the station's officially called Chetnol, but it seems to be called Chetnol Halt in a couple of places. And the station does also have a Friends Of Association, so that's, that's wonderful. I hear a train horn. Let's get ready. That's better. Bah. Nice. And there we are, the three request stops, done. Goodbye, Chetnol. Well, there we are, the uh, three different request stops on the Heart of Wessex line, Thornford, Yetminster, and Chetnol. Very fun, nice and prompt you little day out, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, everything like that. I'm now gonna head to I don't actually know, but we'll find out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge, huge, huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel. You're brilliant and amazing. Thank you.